ime je Gašper Tompa, sem eden od ustanoviteljev Auverings starta podjetja. Naša zgodba se je začela pred štirimi leti, ko smo naredili startup, naš glavni produkt, ideja je bila narediti sledilne obročke za golobe pismonoše. Izziv, ki smo ga imeli narediti najlažji GPS tracker, kar obstaja na svetu. In to nam je praktično v dveh letih uspelo, ampak vsaj kot veste, noben produkt ni nikoli dokončan, dokler so še možne izboljšave. Nekako paralelno z to zgodbo se je začela zgodba Iverings derbi Golobnjaka. Golobnjak, kjer se zdaj nahajamo, je nastal kot testni poligon za naše produkte. Prejali slej pa se je pokazalo, da je to tudi ena odlična priložnost za organiziranje tekmovan iz tega skupnega velikega golobnjaka in letos, že četrto leto, organiziramo to prireditev. Gostimo čez dva tisoč golobov iz cele Evrope, iz praktično 26 držav, 350 golobarjev in danes se ravno nahajamo tu, kjer je organiziran zaključni let letošnje sezone. Z razdalje je 521 km. In tukaj smo zbrani, da čakamo skupaj na najboljše golobe letošnje sezone. Zadovoljni smo z samim potekom tekmovanja tu na našem derbiju, kar nas dela drugačno od drugih je, da se poslužujemo te naših produktov, ki razvijamo v firmi. Poskušamo biti korak pred konkurenco z uvajanjem inovativnih produktov. Naredili smo neke vrste smart golobnjak tle z tehnologijo, ki omogoča vsem sodeločim globarjem, da spremljajo svoje golobe na najbolj transparent možen način. 24 ur na dan z video live stream prenosom, z avtomatiziranjem zbiranja podatkov od GPS do prehodov teh anten, ki delujejo na RFID osnovi, pošiljamo našim sodeločim res zelo transparentne in informacije praktično sproti vsak dan. In to dela to tekmanje zanimivo, saj naši sodeljoči od doma spremljajo te tekme z vsem nadušenjem, vse, kar mi počnemo. Ta testni poligon nam služi kot srečeno tudi za testiranje vseh novih produktov, ki jih delamo. In to se mi zdi, da je to en najboljši možni način, da naše produkte naredimo popolne do najboljše mere, da se potem preden grejo ven na trg. Dokle nismo sami zadovoljni z kvaliteto produkta oziroma storitve, pač jo ne dajemo na tržišče. V štirih letih smo naredili več produktov od hardverskih, teh sam GPS obročkov, do obročkov za merenje višine pri pasmi visoko letačev, do raznih softverskih produktov za menedžiranje takvih velikih golobnjakov, do spremljanje tovornih vozil za prevoz globo na mesto izpusta, do aukcijskih platform, do pedigre rodovnikov, se pravi programov za vodenje rodovnikov in v vsakem od teh produktov praktično poskušamo v Averingsu vpeljati najnovejše standarde in jaz upam, da nam to uspeva. Počasi pridobivamo veljavo ne samo v evropskem, ampak tudi v svetovnem merilu in za to zgodbo tega testnega globnjaka nekako paralelno peljamo in poskušamo se kot znam Averings uveljaviti na tem mogoče nišnem trgu, ampak vseeno dovolj interesantnem tržišču, ki mislim, da nikoli ne bo 
ki imajo potencijal, doma če povedamo. Hello. Louise. Hi, Falco. So in, in um, Prick Moria, they call me Louisica. Okay, Louisica. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, Falco, well, see? Thank you. Uh, Prick Moria, Slovenia. So, um, how did you get here today from the Netherlands? And where in the Netherlands are you from? Well, I'm uh, from the middle of the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, got here yesterday. I, uh, I left at uh, 8 o'clock at home and yesterday uh, in the evening I arrived uh, with the car. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what age did you get into being a, interested in pigeons? Okay. Uh, well, uh, when I was 15, uh, my father kept some uh, fancy pigeons, uh -huh. but was not a pigeon fancier. And I found some injured pigeons near the road sometimes, or, uh, or weekend pigeons, and I took them home. Uh -huh. And that's how I got interested in raising pigeons. H how did you keep these pigeons that you found at home in a well, box? Well, I, I took care of them and I put them uh, between the fancy pigeons, but of course, uh, when they uh, were recovered, then they left again. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But uh, I, uh, I liked fishing, and a friend of mine uh, also uh, had a father who was a pigeon fencer, so I saw uh -huh. it there. And then at some day I, uh, I uh, went to a pigeon fencer and I asked him, uh, can I please buy uh, some pigeons from you? And then he said, no, you cannot buy anything. Really? But so he said, you can get some for free. Oh. And because uh, pigeon sport is a sport, uh, uh, <laughs> but sadly for old guys. Older generation. Uh, yes, so he yes. must have been quite happy. Yes, he was happy. Young and guy. <laughs> before I knew it, he was. Uh, I, he built a loft for me. Uh, I really? had a clock, and he, he made me uh, a member of the club. Wow. And that's how it started uh, for me. And later on, uh, my father and my uncle also uh, got enthusiastic. Ah, yeah. wow. So yeah. you actually got your dad and your uncle yes, into, yes, into, yes, into yes, pigeons. Into, wow, that's fantastic. Yes. Um, so. The competition today, obviously, it's the last race of the season. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do you feel about the level of the competition here in uh, in Odorancy? Yes, okay. I, I'm an official uh, agent for the Netherlands uh -huh. uh, from the first year on. Uh -huh. uh, most of the pigeons here, of uh, we are the biggest uh, competing country uh, in this race. Wow. So I will not say Fantastic. we have the most pigeons, but uh, if you look at percentages, uh, the Netherlands are the highest. So. Uh, I know uh, a lot about this race and yes, this competition is very strong, uh, mm -hmm. but it's a very nice uh, race. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, <laughs> I'm an agent, so I, I, I like this race the most, but I think uh, when you ask the Dutch, uh, Dutch participants, mm -hmm. they're all very happy with uh, the organization here. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. So how do you keep your pigeons in the Netherlands? What kind of setup have you got? Well, I have a small setup. Uh, I have a loft of six meters and I have uh, 16 pairs of old birds uh -huh. and about uh, 40 youngsters. Oh wow. So I'm a small pigeon fancier, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. just very average uh, in numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. I can see you are a quality over quantity yes, kind yes, of guy. Yes, You're that's looking uh, true. To My slogan is the small loft, huge results. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, so apparently you won the uh, ultimate 600k race yes, in 2023. Yeah. So true. take me back to that moment. I mean, yeah. how did you feel? What was going through your mind? Uh, well, uh, I must be honest, I didn't expect a lot uh, last year. Uh, the final was not so good for my pigeons, uh -huh. but of course I activated all the birds I had left. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was a big surprise uh, I won. It was, the bird was from a good family and of course it mm -hmm. was a very uh, good achievement for this bird. It came at uh, 5.30 in the, in wow. the evening. And uh, yeah, well, I was very happy with it, but the races here are, are very, uh, Mostly very tough, and mm -hmm. uh, what, why do you say tough? Uh, it's a different direction than uh, our pigeons are used to. Right. So uh, they fl fly from the northeast, and normally we fly from the southwest. I think that that's something to, to do with it. Okay. And uh, one loft races are tougher uh, anyway than the normal races we are used to. Can you explain the difference? Why? Why? Mm, why? I think it's because it's a smaller group of pigeons. Okay. Uh, a lot of different fanciers. Uh huh. Uh, uh, from uh, a lot of different lofts that, that uh, makes it uh, harder for the pigeons. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what you see in this in this particular one, Loft Race, is that uh, uh, a group will arrive uh, very quickly, mm -hmm. then a group will arrive through the day, okay. and a big group will arrive in the next morning. And that's uh, obviously a sign the birds are very uh, healthy, because otherwise they would not arrive anymore in the morning. Uh, right, okay, so, I understand. Uh, okay. The, the caretaking of, of this one, Loft Race, is very good. So what are your expectations about today? Uh, today? <laughs> well, I'm not... Uh, I'm, <laughs> I hope to be in the first 30 and then I'm already satisfied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that's a long journey that you've driven to yeah. be in the top 30. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think then, we're going to go yeah, for... Uh, top 10 the would be, top would be, five, uh, would be super, but yeah, you <laughs> must know the competition is so hard when you will uh, end in the ter first 30. Mm -hmm. It's already good. How yeah. many pigeons do you have residing in this wonderful, right. wonderful okay. loft? Uh, well, uh, there are 20 birds for me in the race. Fantastic. So uh, that's a lot. Uh, uh, compared to other people, so uh, I hope to have one early one. <laughs> and are, you, are yeah. you happy about the way that your pigeons are taken care of? And, of and the, yeah. and the, the, the you know, the food that they're yeah. being fed and yeah. the, you know, the care that they've been given and the environment, yeah. are you happy about everything? I could, it couldn't be better, I think. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Falco. No Falco, thanks. what a cool <laughs> okay. name. Yeah. Lovely to talk to Bye. you <laughs> and good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
uh, all for one. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we should have this on the logo on the T-shirt. <laughs> well, we're beautiful day today. I mean, obviously, as you know, in Slovenia, last week was catastrophic with the rain yeah, and the wow. rain and the rain. Uh, so, you know, we're blessed today with a fantastic day. Yeah, so fantastic I wish day. you all the best of luck. Tomáš, to you, you and Thank your you team much. who have gone to the bar. Yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Louise? Ben? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. So first of all, how long did it take you to get here for this uh, weekend? We uh, leave yesterday uh, one o'clock. Wow. And we were in uh, Wells eleven o'clock. Wow, in there, Austria? Austria, there we sleep. And tomorrow we leave there on nine o'clock and we were here on half past twelve. So you're here with your son? Yeah. With your son. Yeah. So how did you get into the interest of being a pigeon fancier? Uh, um, we had a son of a, a child who lived a year with us. So you fostered a child, yeah, I yes, believe, yes? yes. And um, his hobby was uh, pigeons and he had to with his grandma in Enschede. Okay. And he asked us, can I get my pigeons here? Oh. Because we uh, get with the car, with the car yeah. to get his hawk. His, uh, the a small house yeah, for the my, pigeon? Yeah, to take the two fasten where we lived. Oh, wow. And uh, it's a pigeon and my son, he liked that and he more and more interesting in pigeons. Ah. And that boy left us after a year. But by my boy, uh, my son had in model uh, the virus of pigeons. So he got more interested yeah, yeah. in pigeons. And, and so between you and yeah. your son, did you have to learn a lot yeah. about pigeons? My son uh, knows about uh, a lot of uh, pigeons. Uh, that pigeon is from that pigeon, and it, yeah. So uh, the an ancestry, yeah. the breeding. I said, uh, I said, my uh, breeds uh, is a uh, fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but you in, you enjoy a meet up like this. Yeah. You enjoy yeah. the racing. Yeah, I, I feed. I uh, do the feeding of the pigeons. Right. He, he has a, a busy uh, business where he working for. Okay. And I have uh, feeding, and uh, together we said that that pigeon go to that flight and. Uh -huh. um, I also training them with, really? uh, to bring them uh, first f f uh, five kilometer, then ten, ki ten kilometer, and uh -huh. see it farther that they must come home. So you take them in your car yeah. and you drive yeah. them different yeah. distances to and train. Yeah, and after that they, they come the, the the final races. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, is this your first time in Slovenia? Yeah, one time I'm. Uh, uh, I came, I was in Hungary, uh -huh. and I'm going to Croatia to the sea. To the seaside. And then I crossed Slovenia. Ah, yeah. and what is your uh, uh, feeling about Slovenia? What is uh, your... Um... A nice la land and uh, also nice weather here today. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you were here last week, it was terrible. The yeah, rain, yeah. the rain, the rain, the rain. It was actually like the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. My, I often been in Hungary, the VF... Uh, um, People who, who met us to were, uh, were child of a uh, child home, yeah. and they came in Holland for, for uh, holiday. All right, okay. And that is uh, 30, uh, 25 years ago, uh -huh. and we always met them, no? and we go to hand to, to there to visit them. Oh no! Nice. It's a uh, 20, 40 kilometer of Budapest. Okay. Yeah. So how many pigeons do you and your son have in this loft? Five. You have five pigeons, yeah, yeah. and is this the, this the first year, or how many the years? The first time. This is yeah. the first year. Yeah. Okay. And, and today, how have your pigeons done? Uh, one is back. Fantastic. And, uh, the part, um range. Yeah. He started. Uh, he ended up the uh, second place. That's, wow. uh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're you're, you're happy. Like yeah, yeah. You're happy. Well, it's lovely to talk to you. Yeah. I can't believe you've driven all this way. Oh. And um, let's hope that your son, a new generation, can inspire more younger yeah. pigeon fanciers to get into the sport, to the community, because yeah. I see it's an amazing community. Yeah. I mean, today yeah. we have from the Netherlands, from Austria, from Germany. Yeah. I just met a guy from Macedonia. Macedonia, oh yeah. So yeah. it's amazing that yeah. it brings people together. Yeah. And I see how beautiful that the, the birds are taken care of. I see a lot yeah. of love 
uh, the, the facilities are really good, clean. The pigeons came back today and I said to Gashba, but they don't look tired. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like... would be very tired after <laughs> flying 500 kilometers. Yeah. Sometimes you see that they let the... The, the, the wings? Yeah. Down. Down, you can see these tires. But today I didn't see oh, that. Oh, I see the tires a few times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's also a bit better than they are going to eat and it's... Uh, Relaxing. Yeah. Maybe they will go to Muraski Top Leads to the ter <laughs> thermal spa to take the waters. Yeah. <laughs> when, when we are tired, we sleep uh, at night and we are over our way there. Fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much for yeah. talking to me today. Thank, Thank you. you too. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Damir, I'm sat here with your beautiful family. Damir is actually my neighbour. We live on the same street in yeah. Muska Sorta. So I'm really happy to help him out today with his um, Avirings Derby, which he's very passionate about and enthusiastic about. And as you can see, a lot of enthusiasm is going <laughs> off here. Um, but I, I, I feel it's been a, a really a, a successful day so far, Damir. Yes, definitely. Uh... Uh, the weather was fine, the pigeons blew uh, 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 perfectly, yeah. everything is okay. Yeah. The yeah. guys here, the real uh, 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 positive experience. Really, you know, you can see a lot of passion yeah. and enthusiasm. And, you know, I've interviewed several people today, Damir, and the two things that they are talking about is the good conditions that the pigeons are being looked after, Definitely. being fed, the training, and also your technology, how you are tracking the pigeons, the pigeons' progress. So, you know, I think it's uh, top marks for you. Yeah, uh, we are having the best technology, I think. Uh, we do our own uh, development of mm -hmm. the antennas, of the rings, everything. Yeah. Because this way we have total control of the system. Yeah. We have no limits. We can do everything. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Relax with your family. Thank you. And um, it is we'll very speak nice soon. to have you here. Lovely, Damir. It's been brilliant. I've learned so much. I've learned so much about pigeons. I cannot believe how fantastic this business, this sport is. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Yeah. I hear you've done extremely well today. Tell me how your pigeons have done today. Yes, uh, I have won 26th place today, so Fantastic. it's the, the second Slovenian pigeon and I'm yeah. really happy and proud of that. Yeah, and what I see here is you're one of the youngest pigeon fanciers here today. Yeah. Actually, I started with the pigeons already 10 years ago at the age of 18 years. So, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And yeah. how did you get into this uh, uh, sport? Via my father, yes. My father started with pigeons already in uh, 1986. Six. Uh -huh. And so yeah, I came involved. Uh, I get involved this way. Yes. Really? And yeah. how did you find uh, this place in Odrancy? Yeah, I know Gasper from long time ago. Uh -huh. Already before that, uh, that race was started. So we are good friends, and I support him mm -hmm. also with that. I enter some pigeons here. And yeah. what is the advantage of this pigeon loft? I think it's really good location. The the, the staff is really good. The Gasper do a really good job for the pigeons. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's everything perfect. One of the best one of races, in my opinion, in Europe at this yeah, moment. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about the conditions today? I mean, I was surprised that Gashba told me they were coming in at a certain time and they came 30 yeah. minutes before. Yeah, they, they were they were quite fast. So this means the pigeons were prepared really good. The preparation was perfect. Uh -huh. The conditions are good. Almost no wind, sunny weather. So you cannot you almost cannot ask for more. Yeah. yeah. It's so a perfect what are you weather. thinking about when it comes to the auction in a, a week or a couple of weeks? I think it's going to be interesting auction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. are you going to be one of the fanciers that buys your pigeon back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Last year I bought a few, so I think I will do again this year. I will really? check check through the my pigeons and maybe buy the best ones. And how many pigeons do you have at home then? I, at home? Yeah. Uh, well, well, we have five, a few hundred, so yeah, really? we have quite many. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And so you breed your pigeons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. send to different places, to different lofts, to test them. We also race at home and so on. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is the biggest question. Yes. What is the first, what is the prize money that you've won? What is the highest prize money? Uh, prize money? Oof, I don't know. I will have to check that. But today I just won another one loft race, 500 euros. So. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, do you know, how do you think we should inspire 
younger pigeon fanciers to become involved in this sport? I think that's a really good uh, type to inspire the fanciers by, by one loft races because I see in the last 5-10 years when one loft races are getting more and more popular, mm -hmm. more and more young fanciers are getting involved yeah. because they know through this way, through internet, through, through yeah. marketing, they know think, about it. Do you think the it? technology yes. is improving yeah, yeah, the yeah, interest also. from young yeah. people because you know, they can see where their pigeon's yes, going, yes, the yes, height yes. that the pigeon goes yeah, to, yeah, 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 and yeah. these kind yeah. of things, and the statistics that the lofts give you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really good. Yes. And that's interesting, I think, for yeah, younger of course, people, of course, because of they want to see instant. Yeah, you want to see immediately. Yeah, you don't, you don't like to know about the result today. You have to know immediately, so that's really Brilliant. That's perfect. And yeah. how can you see this sport progressing in the next five to 10 years? I think it will mainly be focused. The, my opinion is that the one loft racing is going quite high up. Mm -hmm. so that will be more and more and maybe the the normal old racing old style will go a little bit down but but that, that's also nothing bad so uh -huh, if it continues uh -huh. like this i think it's really good uh, because this is a really good way to test the pigeons you all the pigeons from many famous functions are sent to the same loca location mm -hmm. the same loft the same preparation so you can really tell which pigeons are the best yeah so i think yeah. that's really good yeah. yeah so are you very pleased with your results today yeah i'm happy yeah. I'm really fantastic happy. Yeah, proud. nice to meet you thank you take care thank you. Okay, so I'm joined here now with two of our Dutch friends all the way from the Netherlands. They drove here yesterday and unfortunately, they got to drive back how many hours? 13 hours. Oh, 13 and hours. The <laughs> beautiful thing is we drove here today. You, what? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Last night, yeah, we did. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> fast then. How, how many pigeons did you have in the race today? Two. And? <laughs> Are they both One back? back. It's, it's lovely weather today. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, one is back. Fantastic. And what place did it come? Uh, 210. Yeah, 210. Yeah. Are you happy with that? No. Oh, you're gonna not, do it. No. Not happy <laughs> at at all. But it's in prizes. Yeah. The first uh, uh -huh. 32 percent. So. Uh huh. And is this your first year you've had a pigeon in this loft? No, no the second, second year. year. Second year. And the first year we um, we were 34. Oh. So Ooh. it's a bit a downgrade. Right. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. okay. So um, you're obviously breeders. You, yeah. you breed your pigeons. So yeah. what are you thinking for next year? How are you going to improve? Um, we look at what the pigeons did this year. Okay. And uh, the weather of, the, of this year. Mm -hmm. um, and we try to um, recouple um, the pairs. Okay. So we can build stronger mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. pigeons. For the next race. Yeah. And how many pigeons do you have at home then? 300 plus. Oh! Yeah, yeah 300 plus. Oh, 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 it's have, a lot of pigeons. I have around 100, so. Wow. A bit wow. less. <laughs> and what, what are the conditions in, in Slovenia compared to the Netherlands? Um, for, for, maybe the, the hot weather. Oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes in the Netherlands it's, uh, it's um, for a small time very hot. And then right. Yeah, raining and then yeah. raining. We have really a <laughs> lot of rain. We have a lot of rain. Yeah. yeah. And this year they here have also a lot of rain. Uh huh. And, um, we had some races in 36 degrees. Yeah. So it's a very hard, uh, hard conditions for the pigeons to okay. uh, to race for this year. Okay. Okay. But are you are you happy with the, the pigeon loft here in Odorance? Yeah. It's, you, a, you, it's you a beautiful loft and um, and Casper uh, the organization. Yeah. Um, He's very knowledgeable, isn't he? The pigeons in very, very good conditions. Mm -hmm. If you see them turn back today, uh, yeah, they are in lovely conditions. So they came in big groups. So I think that says a lot about the condition of the pigeon. Really? So, Why yeah. is that? As a novice, I'd like to know that. Why? Yeah, because when they're all feeling well, they all have the form. Okay. They will come back more uh -huh, and faster. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So. So will you have uh, pigeons in this loft next season? Yes. Perfect. And you're going to come back for more than one day next year. Uh, if, you, if you play the hotel, we will. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we have a lot of space for camping. You, yeah. are, you are Dutch, you love camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah glamping then, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should suggest for, uh, to Gashpa we, buy, we yeah. build some glamping yeah, for next it. year. Maybe for the, for, the next, uh, for the next year we can, set, uh, we say, can say to him from yeah. the glamping ID. Yeah, we can cook marshmallows over the campfire yeah. and or talk. sort of a hotel, oh. we can build a hotel in the winter. Oh, I mean, that's, that's going a bit too far now. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. 
But anyway, you know, boys, it's great to see such young pigeon fanciers here, you know, because, you know, traditionally it's a lot of the older guys, so it's great yeah. to see younger people. Why do you think younger people are getting more involved now? Do you think it's because of the technology now? that you can kind of look at your applications and you can see how your pigeons are doing and the statistics or do you think this is improving the, I the, think the sport? Uh, the way uh, they have the, uh, the, um, the race over here with, uh, with the applications and uh, the statics of the pigeons, I think the younger people uh, are more interested in uh, in that type of racing. Brilliant, so. brilliant. Anyway, listen, have a very safe journey home. Thank you. Really very nice much. to meet you guys. And hopefully I'm gonna see you next year. Yeah, of course. On, on, on the glamp side. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> glamping. Yeah. Gashba, we need glamping. Yeah, yeah. Hey, of take course. care. Lovely to meet yes. you, yeah. seriously. Have a good one, thank you. Thank you. But this is amazing to see these uh, yeah. pigeons coming in today in such an absolutely beautiful yeah, sunny right. day. But you know, were you prepared for them to come so early? Yeah, that's that's the good question. We we try to do our best. Uh, sometimes uh, works, sometimes not. This time everything's uh, everything uh, goes well. Uh, the weather weather is very good. You see the pigeons Fantastic. are coming. Uh, and the, and they don't they don't look tired. They don't look tired. I'm also. But okay, we of course prepare them for, for 500 kilometers, yeah. and, and uh, we we also have to prepare them for for any any uh, bad weather or something that ha yeah. can happen. So that's been happening actually yeah, over the yeah. past few weeks. So I, I'm, I'm very happy that they are yeah. prepared like this. I see a lot of excitement with the fanciers. Yeah, they're all, yeah, they're all crowded the, around the television screen. That's the best here. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, this enthusiasm and everything which comes along with the with brilliant. The, with the race. Brilliant. It's a fantastic thing yeah. to witness and when you see them all coming in. Yeah, yeah. When you Brilliant. see the fanciers from, from 85 till 20 or yes. 15 years, yes. they're all together. We, 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 we have the same passion for the Fantastic, for the yeah. yeah. Well done. Congratulations Thank you. Thank you. on the fantastic very race. I'm very happy. Thank you. Here we have the winner of today's final. You can you can see the ring number. It's a German pigeon, 02803. The ring number 751. Uh, check it hen. It should be. We will see. It's on the fourth feather. So it's actually in very good uh, condition according to the feather change. Uh, and the breeder is German? German? Yeah, from Germany, from Markus Knoll and his team, Passmar. Uh, it's very soft here, as you see. Although she fly 520 kilometers, it's still very, very soft. Uh, but normal, normal hen.
Včeraj smo spakirali 1264 golobov, izpust je bil danes ob 7.45 v kraju Tisabeč, to je kraj, ki na meji Mađarske z Ukrajino. Vreme je bolj perfektno, mi rečemo perfektno golobje vreme, se pravi sveže, ne prevroče, bilo je malo vetra v hrbet in tukaj pred grobnjakom se je zbrala množica ljudi, golobari z Slovenije, Mađarske, Hrvaške, Avstrije, Nemčije, z Nizozemske in skupaj smo pričakovali golobe, golobi so nas presenetili, nismo pričakovali, da bo do golobi prišli tako hitro, In z veseljem lahko povem, da je prvi glob dosegel hitrost 1428 metr na minuto in je prišel ob 13.49, se pravi, da je rabil dobrih 7 ur za letet. Do tega trenutka, zdaj smo malo pred pol peto popovdne, pa imamo čez 530 globov doma, tako da se približujemo polovici. In jaz sem pripričen, da jutri z rotaraj bomo imeli večino golobov doma v grobnjakih. Kaj naj rečem, en idealen zaključek te sezone, čeprav čist konec ni, ker zdaj bodo imeli možnost naši golobari, da se odločijo, da pošljajo svoje golobe še na ekstra dolgo Ultimate 600 tekmo, se pravi šesto kilometrsko tekmo, kar je vedno pravi izziv in že nekako meji na meji mogočega za te naše pernate prijatelje. Jaz sem pripričen, da tudi ta izziv bomo uspeli narediti in tako zaključiti, res zaključiti letošnjo sezono.